Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I have a Pets and More treat box for you today. It's a little treat box, and we're gonna make the flap using uh, the Everyday Details detail dies. Now the little star is of course this cute kitty from Pets and More. This is an online exclusive stamp set. You can only find it on the Stampin' Up! websites, not in any catalogs. And it's one of our reversible stamps. And I'm gonna show you today what that means. Um, I'm also using the Charming Sentiments just for you right there. Um, this is a retiring stamp set that has coordinating dies. So if you haven't gotten it, make sure you grab it before it's gone um, on April 30th or before it sells out. All right, how about we make the box first? Inside the box, I didn't even tell you, are a few of these lemon Kit Kats, I always say I'm buying these for a project, when in reality, I buy them for me because I love them so much. They are delicious. Now, I have heard from some of you that don't like them, so if you don't like them, I'm sorry. It's, it's a matter of taste. You gotta like lemon, right? All right, we're gonna start out with a piece of Blackberry Bliss that is four and a fourth by five and three fourths. On the long side, I'm gonna score it at half an inch, one and an eighth. The eighth is that one tick mark past one three and an eighth, and three and three fourths. Turn it to the short side and score it at five eighths. And let's see, one, two, three, four, yeah, just make sure my measurements are right. Three and five eighths, there we go. I didn't trust my numbers, I have written on my cheat sheet. I had to double check. All right, grab your bone folder, and let's burnish these lines really well. Um, Blackberry Bliss cardstock, I find, is pretty stiff. I feel like it's a little, a little stiffer or thicker than a regular cardstock. So make sure you give that a real good um, rundown with your uh, your bone folder. All right, looking for my scissors. Here they are. The first thing we're going to do when you scored it, there was a little half inch thing over here. We're going to cut that. We're going to cut those corners off like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut inward so that this flap is like that. All right, we're gonna do the same thing here and I can actually cut all the way in, but just cut that first one off, cut this corner right here, okay? Now over here, I'm gonna snip and snip, snip and snip. Now I am gonna just cut the corners off both sides of these middle tabs like that. Okay, so this is what your piece looks like. Not a whole lot of cutting, really. Now we're gonna take, um, you know what, let's do, the, let's do the, the lip of it first so I can show you exactly what I've got. This is the second largest everyday detailed die uh, cut from Blackberry Bliss. And I'm gonna take it and cut it right in half. I'm gonna go from that little point to that little point. All right, so get it on your, your machine, your cutter, whatever you're using, and cut it right in half. Now, I'm gonna take my adhesive and put, whoa, put a lot of adhesive right there on that half inch tab, and I am gonna cut or adhere this right there, and it fits perfectly. The reason we cut those corners off is so that they wouldn't stick out on this side, but it does fit perfectly on that edge. So now you've got this little lip, isn't that cute? All right, so now fold those two center pieces in and really, you don't even need to, well, I guess we could. Let's put a little bit of adhesive right there. That way it'll hold them in place, okay? Fold those up to the back. and wrap this around. Now I use stamp and seal just out of ease, but I would recommend tear and tape or uh, liquid glue here. All right, so they, they wrapped around kind of hugging it, okay? Now I'm gonna trim this off. Looks like that's a little bit hanging out, but I think we got it. There we go. Let's see how many Kit Kats we can fit in here. I think it's two. Yep, there we go. I couldn't remember if it's two or three. Now fold those little tabs in, and then this folds over and there's your box, super easy. Now I've cut a little piece of designer series paper. This is the Kidding Around designer series paper. And I'm gonna put that right there. It's Berry Burst and Berry Burst goes great with Blackberry Bliss. 
Okay, now here comes the tricky part. I have ribbon, this silver edged ribbon, and I'm gonna wrap it around the top. Now I've gotta tie this around here, but to keep these together is tricky. So I've got my reverse tweezers. Somebody recommended using reverse tweezers for this, which I thought was a great suggestion. And if I could find the end of my, there we go, my silver trim, I'm gonna put this under like that. And we're gonna tie a bow. And I think what I'm gonna do is tie it in a knot first, like that. And then we can take this off and just kind of squeeze it together so that it, it's going all the way down to where we want it. There we go. Now, if I can get the ends, it's all running together, it's all silver. And now I'm gonna really tighten that up and then finish it with a bow. The reverse tweezers are part of our embossing additions uh, kit. All right, and then we're gonna cut these off at an angle. I love that silver trim with the Blackberry Bliss. I think it looks really good. All right, let's tighten it up some more. There we go, cute. All right, now for the little star, the little cat. Let me show you how these reversible stamps work. I'm gonna stamp him in, or her, in memento black, right here on basic white. Now, I'm gonna take my chamois, and I'm gonna clean her up, and you gotta let it dry for a minute, but then we're gonna flip her around, okay, to the back side, like that. And I'm gonna get Smoky Slate, and I don't want to stamp Smoky Slate full strength, I want to lighten it up a little bit. So I'm gonna ink that up. Can you guys see how it's solid? I'm gonna stamp it on there. Look at that, it's like a shadow. And then I'm gonna line it up right here and stamp on my cat. Ta-da, that's all you have to do, no coloring. Now I am gonna take my petal pink and just add a little rosy cheeks and a little bit of a pink ear like that. All right, now, Let's stamp our sentiment just for you in Berry Burst over here. We're gonna die cut that. Now the cat, there's no die for the cat, so we're gonna use our paper snips. And I'm just gonna go around the outside edge of the black line. I'm just gonna leave like a little white border around the edge of my cat. I don't wanna cut into any of the black line cause that'll be pretty obvious. But if you leave this little white border, your eye is only gonna see the, the edge of the image and not your white cut, your white border where you're cutting may not be perfect. All right, so there's our kitty. I have also cut out a um, Berry Burst uh, stitched heart. This is from the Give It A Whirl dies that are retiring, my favorite die set. And then the second smallest everyday details. This is the same label that we used here, but now I've cut it from basic white and it's the second smallest. All right, let's bring our cut and emboss machine over. And I have a little bit of post-it tape here to hold this on just because it's very small. And we wanna make sure that we get it in the right place and it doesn't slip. So I'm gonna put that down on there like that. Run it through and let's see how we did. Perfect. Okay, let's layer these up. I'm gonna take my dimensionals and I'm gonna put them on either side of my ribbon like that and put this right there. All right, and then let's get our kitty. And I'm gonna put her over here on the left side, like that. I'm gonna tuck that heart in behind her, like that. And then the just for you with a dimensional as well. And we'll put that right there. 
And there you have it, a fun box. Now, it doesn't have anything to do with the lemon Kit Kats. If you want to use a regular mini Kit Kat, of course, they're the same size and they'll fit. I just love the lemon crisp Kit Kats that come out in the spring. All right, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. There is a free PDF on my blog that has the measurements and the supply list and two other pets and more projects. Let me know if you have questions. Have fun stamping. Bye.